The United States loves their version of Pocahontas, but they do not love her people. I'm an enrolled member of the Chickahominy Indian Tribe of Virginia. My community is one of the remaining tribes that formed the Powhatan Confederacy, which was led by Pocahontas' father, Chief Powhatan. American folklore has romanticized the story of Pocahontas, negating the fact that she was only around 11 or 12 years old when Jamestown was settled, and she was used as a political asset during negotiations with English colonists. She was forced to marry an older, foreign man, and was moved to England where she eventually died and was never able to return to her homeland. This is not a story of romance. This is a story of rape and kidnapping. During the Donald Trump campaign, we saw several uses and instances where Trump referred to Elizabeth Warren as Pocahontas, referencing her earlier claims of Native heritage. Did you ever hear Pocahontas? Huh? It's Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren. I'm doing such a disservice to Pocahontas. It's so unfair to Pocahontas. In doing this, he's essentially diminishing all Native women down to a single historical figure and also using a historical figure who lived a very, very difficult and troubled life, a traumatic life, as a some kind of joke and slur. We have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. Her name is Matokwa. She's a real person to completely paint over her life afterwards and not acknowledge the, the sexualization and, and rape of her that happened is um, completely false. You know, it's, it's a painting over of history. There are repercussions for these things. There are repercussions for fetishizing people. There are repercussions for over-sexualizing people. We see that one in three Native women are raped in her lifetime, um, that 80% of the offenders are non-Native. You know, these have real consequences. Native women are many. There are millions of us. To sum up all Indigenous women as Pocahontas is incredibly disrespectful.